Hey guys, you just finished watching a little like two minute video that described the story of the 12 spies who went to look at Canaan, the promised land. And you saw the, the decision that they made coming back. 10 of them said, this land is too scary. The people are giant. We will never be able to win this land. So no, we should not go there. But only two people, Joshua and Caleb said, of course, God's on our side. Of course we can go, it's a wonderful land. Sadly, they were the only two who said that and all of Israel followed the other 10 spies and complained yet again and said, no, 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 we do not want to go into this land. So then they spent 40 years in the wilderness. Now, there's one thing that I do wanna say about this before we get too far. Um, we can look at that punishment as being really crazy like what the people said no they didn't want to go to the promised land so then they had to spend 40 years in the wilderness here's the thing sometimes the very best punishment is to get what you want sometimes the thing that we want is not what we should want but sometimes God lets us have what we want. He lets us have our own way, even if he knows that's not what the best thing for us is. Sometimes our parents even do this with us, right? We might say, you know, I want to eat tons of candy all afternoon. And your mom says, well, you'll have a tummy ache and you won't even want to eat supper. And you're like, I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. And she says, okay, then do it. And so you eat a ton of candy and what happens? You get a tummy ache and you don't feel like eating supper, right? The punishment is giving you what you want. So in the case of the Israelites here, they said to God, God, we don't want to go into the promised land. Don't make us go into the promised land. And God said, okay, I won't make you go to the promised land. If you do not want to go to the promised land, you don't have to. So... This wasn't some creative, crazy punishment. This was God letting the people have what they wanted. But as they realized very quickly, what they wanted was actually not what they should have wanted. They should have trusted God, but they, they didn't. So 40 years later, everyone who had said, no, we won't go, had died. And all the people who were left were Joshua and Caleb because they said we want to go and then anyone who had been 20 years old or younger when that all happened with the spies so they would be 60 years old and younger okay and anyone who was born while they were in the wilderness they were there for 40 years definitely lots of kids were born while they were there so all of those people the ones who weren't part of making the decision not to go they got to go um, a side note, even Moses did not get to go to the promised land. Moses, for other reasons, was not able to. God let him climb up on a mountain and look and see the promised land right before he died. So only Joshua and Caleb, and you may have heard of Joshua's name before. He becomes a pretty important guy in the Bible, perhaps like right after the book of Deuteronomy. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. I don't know if you guys all know the books of the Bible yet. I think you learned that in grade four, so that's pretty cool. All right, you're doing a word search today, and in your word search, there's a bunch of words that have to do with this story. Now, I don't know if I've shown you this before, but do you know how to actually do a cross, not crossword, a word search? Because there's a really cool trick. All right, so what you do is you take the first letter of the word you're looking for. Let's say I'm looking for the word Christmas, not in your word search today, but the first letter of that is C. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top of the word search, and I'm just going to go down each line, one at a time looking for C's. And if I find a C, then I'm going to do a little square around the C with my eyes, looking for the second letter in Christmas, which is H. If I find an H, I'll kind of go down that line, see if it says Christmas. If not, I'll just keep going. Do, do, do. Oh, there's another C, do a little box. And an o. Oh, there we go, I see the H and I went down and it said Christmas. 
you can just sort of stare at it and look. That works too sometimes, but it won't work every time. And instead of driving yourself completely bonkers trying to get this figured out, you can go through line by line looking for that first letter. That's actually the easiest way to do it. And once you get good at it, it's the fastest way to do it too. Have fun today, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.